This video will guide you through the process of installing a Zip Tangente tubeless tire. These tires are designed to be tubeless only and contain a butyl liner. They must be set up as a tubeless tire. Do not use tire levers or any tools to install Zip Tangente tubeless tires. Tools can damage the butyl liner and cause air leaks. Sealant is recommended for the best possible seal between Tangente tubeless tires and your tubeless ready wheel. You will need the following tools and supplies. A Zip Tangente tubeless tire, tubeless tire sealant, a valve core removal tool, an air compressor or floor pump, and safety glasses. Starting 180 degrees from the valve stem, install one bead of the tire into the center of the bed of the rim. Hang the wheel on a bike stand with the valve stem at the bottom. From the top, begin installing the second bead into the bed of the rim. Press both beads together and into the center of the bed of the rim. Keeping the beads in the center of the rim will allow for easier tire installation. Stop when half of the second bead is set in the rim. Pour 30 milliliters of sealant into the tire. Keeping the wheel vertical, remove it from the bike stand. Rotate the wheel slowly to allow the sealant to move to the closed side of the tire. With both tire beads in the center of the rim bed, finish installing the tire onto the wheel. To more easily seat the bead, remove the valve core, which will allow air to more rapidly inflate the tire. Hang the wheel back on the bike stand with the valve stem at the top. Attach either a floor pump or an air compressor. For 25 mm tires, inflate to 110 psi. For 28 mm tires, inflate to 100 psi. You will hear loud popping sounds as the beads set in the rim. This is normal. If your floor pump is not powerful enough to seat the beads, use an air compressor. Reinstall the valve core. Inflate the tire again to 110 psi for 25 mm tires or 100 psi for 28 mm tires. Hold the wheel horizontally. Shake the wheel to agitate the sealant, then turn the wheel one quarter turn. Repeat these steps until the wheel has made one full rotation. Go for a short ride or lay the wheel on a flat surface for three to five minutes. Flip the wheel and let it rest for three to five more minutes. Inflate the tire to the desired air pressure level. Check the seating of the tire by examining the line above the rim flange. The line should be evenly spaced from the rim on both sides of the tire over its entire circumference. If it is not, release some air pressure and adjust the tire by hand. Then reinflate to the desired amount and check again. Spin the wheel and check that the tire is aligned properly on the wheel. This concludes the tubeless setup process for a Zip Tangente tubeless tire.